Adam, good to see you. How's it going? Now, when we were out with you a few weeks ago, Johnny said he'd love to see the 420 because you said the two big girls and then with you having the third harvester, it was thought that the 320 would maybe be a little bit light the odd time. So you've now had it all weekend. Talk to me. I uh, know she, uh, she definitely is next level. For a 416 comparison, they nearly be identical. Hey, the speed, the hydraulics, the comfort is unbelievable. Absolutely. Yeah. You can sit in that all day long and jump out of it after a long day and not have any. But say, for instance, compared to even the 320, because your 320 is on feeding duties um, at back at the yard. You know, do you see a big difference between the 320 and the 420? The 320 has her place. She was handy in the yard, jumped back, dad fed around the, in the tight passageways. Yeah. It worked for us perfectly. Um, whenever it turned out then that we needed an hour butt rake on the pot for the third one or anything like that, it was about, she was just struggling. Temperature was starting to rise and the, no, she just, Maybe in a slower operation she'd be okay, but it's, she was under a bit of pressure. And uh, the 420 there now is perfect for it. You know, she uh, she kept keeps it red at her ease. Operators comfortable. Can go back, cook on the shear grab, bucket, toes, do whatever she needs to do as well. But she's just that next level above the 320 for doing them duties, really. Now, JCB, when they moved to stage five, and your 320 isn't a stage five, they changed things about a little bit. They, they made a few changes to the cab, the bigger curved window, and styling, and, and bits and bobs. Are you feeling it? Oh, I... For, for, for a nicer place to sit? Oh, hey, it's the buttons all on the right hand, power, as you say, the bigger screens, you have your bigger visual right round you and all. Hey, Oh, she's nice. She's a lovely place to be working on, you know, good and environment. Obviously, you're running two, four, three, fives, and uh, Johnny sort of let it slip the last day. <laughs> there's, a, there's a newer one of those coming now soon as well. Obviously, we're not trying to say that a 420S is there to replace a 435 because it's, it's, it's not. But if you had a 435 and you had a breakdown or something went wrong, would you be happy enough heading out with that machine to, oh. to, to keep things moving? Oh, a hundred, no bore. Like, though yesterday actually she was keeping, she was on behind the 1180. Oh, I, she was she was under a lot of pressure, yes, but it's still keeping things moving as such. I, you know, she she'll, she'll do. She would do to keep it that keep the workload going on, you know. So. But that was a yard that a 435 was a non-starter. No, that's, see, that's... So even a 419 is, would be a non-starter there. No, see, that. this is what we're looking at, Andy. The 435 would be that big, big pad, open pad silo. She is designed for that big environment as such. But there will be guys we do work for have the smaller, tighter uh, silos with maybe a roof. What's the 435? It will struggle there. You know, you know, your capacity will be maxed out a lot earlier as such. So with that there and the pit and the indoor silo, you know, you still, even though the machinery outside the pit are bigger, she still brings it back to stage where we can still do them tighter jobs. Absolutely, and I suppose she's on the, the 12 foot MDE buck rake, but a 10 foot push off should be every bit as home with it as well. Um, and even the narrower tyres, I suppose those are 710s that are still currently in, in testing, but I would suggest the 620s are probably all you would need. Aye, hey, the 416s we had were all 620s and they were perfect. Like it, Don't get me wrong, the 710s just add that extra nice factor there as such, but the 620s would still be perfect, ample like that. Well, it would leave her hand there for around the yard. Around the yard, aye. <laughs> Or maybe we have industrials for around the yard. You're, you're at me bit extra. You go close to the wall now, he's 710, you're just thinking to yourself. I need to be keeping a close eye on it. Yeah, well, that's where JCB's at with it. But you said, you know, you think it's up there with a the 416. I would personally agree. The only thing I said to JCB, it just doesn't sound the same. 416 had that I, lovely Cummins bark <laughs> off it. I, I, I was well impressed, you know. 
I was thinking to myself, like, from the 320 stage coming up was the tilt, the speed. You know, the 320 was great at what she done, but whenever you had the right load or the right angle on the, the, the butt rake, you know, the 320 struggled, where the 416 would have went on, which is exactly what the 420 can do. She goes on, she takes it with her, she's quick, she's up, she's down. She's really, she's really as for all around her, a perfect machine for it, you know. But then you are getting the benefit of new gearbox from JCB there, so you're into the eight speed and you've got torque lock. And I would say, watch your new butt rake in a wee bit earlier because you came out here specifically to get a few loads on her before she goes away. Butt rake and what you knew earlier, you were using the, everything. You were using uh, gears and torque lock. I wanted to try out both high. I wanted to see the real benefits of torque lock without using it as such. I wanted to just lock her in her gear and work away in first or second gear, you know, keep her in that gear. And then I wanted to see what torque lock on it, but the torque lock now, uh, for speed wise, up or down, it's, it definitely has a massive help there. Yeah, and like you have to remember, it is only a four cylinder turbo engine. Can you visualize that having a place in the Kellen Brothers fleet? Oh, 100%. 100%. If, uh, if we can come to some sort of negotiation, that definitely, that, that's, you to would me, say it's, that, that, it's, the, that would make sense to move the 320 away and replace it with her for you guys. Well, the bike percent, the hard percentage of the work before was 90% the yard work, maybe 10% helping out other butt rakes or the indoor pits, where now, see, before we would have had to took a 435 and the 320, so the 435 would have done the bike, the bike hard work and the 320 would have yeah. cleaned up the ages. Where now, with her being the size that she is, can do the both jobs herself. So it's able then that she'll do a bigger percentage of butt raking work. Absolutely, and if your 435s were moved about, because remember bike, you, just, you still look after that digester. Mm -hmm. It should be a mighty fine machine to have. Ah, to feed. To feed if you need it, you know, if you oh, need it to be. And the 50K, Road oh, speed in. That there, see the 50k step up, that just was the best, in my opinion, because when you're finished butt raking, you're always the tail end because you either have to clean up the pit or clean up the ages, or 90% of the time before you leave, the farmer always wants to have a wee chat. And in the back of your mind, you're always thinking to yourself, they're at the next farm, there's going to be like 20 loads up that pit before I get there, where the 50k. You're up in speed, you're in the pit, and you're definitely quick now. Well, combines are rolling now. They weren't rolling the last time we were here. I take it you're still on one of the combines you were the last time? Still on one, I still, she's uh, working away there. Are you ready to, I, you just came to do this here, so you're itching to get back to the combine? Aye, right, well, as long as she's there when I get back, we Gordy's on her at the minute, so. <laughs> <laughs> You think that could be trouble, sir? Yeah, I... So what you're telling me is, we need to get you a 420S organized and then a couple of these Smith trailers as well. <laughs> she would look well pushing a Smith trailer to be fair, be interesting to see how many sweeps it would take. I would take one or two now. <laughs> but what about the 12 foot, no problem? Hey, she handles it, uh, she handles it quite comfortably. Um, it would probably be her max as such, I but on the 416 was nearly her max too, because any longer or bigger you would have had uh, you nearly have a light back end, the 416. Now, to be fair to that machine there, she's sturdy of herself, like the back end is well platformed on the ground, you know. So I'd say the 12 foot would be her bread and butter there, just her max, but still capable of using it. She's definitely not by up and down the pit, like not a board here. And hey, we were working there at what, 30, 31 degrees heat, I think. It was the last day we were up, and the temperature gauge never even flickered. Like she was more than able to control herself. Well, look, Adam. Thank you much. In the meantime, and uh, no doubt, um, no doubt, we'll maybe see one of these soon. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Good man. Cheers. Thank you. Hundred percent. Running back